Mr. Ambassador, uh, rather like my colleague, the Earl of Dartmouth, I too was at an American university, a better one, of course. Uh, this is the University of Pennsylvania, Wharton Business School. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if this common U.S. experience is to blame for our Euroscepticism or not. <laughs> um, I have to say I voted against the Fund Managers Directive AIFM in committee. Uh, I was drafted in for that, and I do believe it will have de devastating consequences. Um, I spoke to a, a hedge fund based in London, one and a half billion pounds of investment in software companies, the very kind of companies that will create jobs in Britain, and they said if this directive goes through, we're, we're out of here. You know, they will close down all European operations. Um, I, I really struggle to see how the State Department cannot see the reality of this. Look at Airbus, look at the World Trade Organization battles there, look at the EU's media program, the film program that, that, that attacked Hollywood in all its aspects, look at the EU undermining NATO. Um, the EU is essentially francophone, socialist and protectionist. America is anglophone, anglophone protect, uh, a capitalist and free trade. Um, when will you wake up in the State Department to the reality and address these issues? Thank you.